Hello, everyone. This is Ms. Wilkes. On yesterday, you started learning about the main idea in details. Today, we're going to continue learning about the main idea in details using another story. We're going to try to identify the main ideas, and we are going to use the photographs and pictures and words in the text to help us support the main idea. Our um, objectives are I can identify the main idea in details, and I can explain how the photographs or pictures support the main idea. All right, boys and girls, yesterday you saw this beautiful anchor chart that is on the left side of your screen. Um, how do we find the main idea? There are different ways that we can find the main idea. And the main idea is what the story is uh, about, what most of the story is about. Um, one way to find the main idea is to look at the title and headlines or headings. The next way is to look at the pictures. Next way, look for words used more than once. And the last way to find the main idea is to reread the first and last sentence. We're going to be using all of those strategies today to help us find the main idea of this story. The story that we're going to use today is called The Storm. This story um, is about a storm. As you can see in the picture, um, it looks like a really bad storm. You can see the lightning that is crack, uh, flashing brightly. You can see the dark clouds that those details in the photograph or in the picture might help you figure out what the main idea is. All right, let's continue. We're going to learn some vocabulary before we actually read the story. The first word that we're going to talk about is rumble. Boys and girls, does anyone know what rumble means? What do you think rumble means? Mmm, rumble. To make a noise. Making a noise or a noise that you hear. All right, the next word is crashed. Crashed. What do you think the word crashed means? To make a loud noise? Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant means bright. So we are going to read the story. I'm going to read it. So listen to me as I read the story. Don't worry about those questions yet. I want you to listen to me as I read. Follow along with me. The rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops one after another. The sky was full of dark purple clouds. Thunder began as, soft, as a soft rumble and became louder and louder. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. So as you can see, there was a storm. There was a storm out. How do you know? Well, what do you think this story is mostly about. What is the main idea? What do you think this story is mostly about? I'm going to read some choices to you and I want you to think as I'm reading which ones you can eliminate and which ones, which answers you think makes the most sense. The main idea, remember, is what the story is mostly about. Letter A. The farms needed the rain. Letter B, the thunder hurt the people's ears. Letter C, lightning made the sky bright. Or letter D, the storm was very strong. What do you think is the main idea? I'll give you a few seconds. Now, I want you to think about what, what you heard me read, what you see in the pictures that help you know what this story is mostly about. The farms needed the rain. 
No, the story didn't say anything about the farms needing the rain. So you can cross that one out. You can eliminate that answer. I don't have a pencil to eliminate yet. I'm going to make another video of the actual hard copy so we so I can show you um, how to eliminate the answers and circle the correct answers. The thunder hurt the people's ears. Pretty sure it did. But that's not what the whole story is about. Letter C, lightning made the sky bright. It did. It did say that in the in the story. It said it make this made the sky a brilliant white. But is that what the whole story is about? Or letter D, the storm was very strong. I think the answer is letter D as well. The storm was very strong. I'm gonna close out this video and then I'm gonna pull up. I'm go you're gonna see the next video of the actual hard copy um, paper and you're gonna see me uh, answer the questions, okay? All right, hang on for a few seconds.